Hi, it's Jen again. Today we are making Swedish meatballs and I'm excited. Um, I was getting ready to start doing summer salads and grilling and here in Utah we had a huge thunderstorm last night. Tons of rain, it got really cold so it's Sunday and we're all just hanging out in our PJs because nobody wants to go outside. So I thought Swedish meatballs sounded comfy and cozy. <laughs> This comes from the recipe of Cheryl Driggs, who is King Cousin Dawn's wife. I love Cheryl. I used to go hang out at their house um, with their daughters a lot when we were teenagers. So... And Cheryl was... Um, Miss UCLA. Or UCLA, yeah. Yeah. Homecoming so, queen or Miss UCLA. Gorgeous lady. Um, and her girls are all gorgeous too. So first what we do is we put two tablespoons butter in a skillet and a cup of onions. We've already got our butter melted. There goes our onions. My version of finely chopped. Dad's version of... Which, tell them, you started to tell this story, and you didn't, about what Lala taught you about cooking as a little boy, making things um, not look so uniform and... Right now? Yeah. What did she teach you? Well, I think we talked about it. Maybe we didn't. We didn't. But um, she always said anybody can get canned stuff and when you do the potatoes are perfect one quarter inch by one quarter inch and the onions and everything and they're all diced real nice and small well homemade cooking should be bigger and uneven and the carrots and everything it just, it's just chunkier it looks better because if you get a can of soup you know they're going to be out of a machine and everything and so you cut them bigger on the angles you know you rip your lettuce you make the leaves bigger it just it just make it look doesn't look better because a lot of times we use things from a can, but we always fix the, you know, fix it up and make it better. And why is the smell of onion and butter so amazing? Smell this. <laughs> smell this. It's so good. So um, I'm going to let that sort of cook down a little bit over there. Um, we have two and a half pounds of ground beef here. And let's see. We're supposed to put four eggs in here. It says beat slightly. I'm just gonna put the eggs into one side and kind of whisk them with a fork. Cause I'm all about making things as easy as possible and less cleanup. So, there's one. We all know I'm not the expert egg cracker. Those people that can crack them with one hand, I'm so jealous. Can you do that, Dad? Are you about to? Holding a camera? Yeah, wow. Yeah, but Did you it ain't it? pretty. Yeah, but it, <laughs> I think you have a, no, there's no, there's no. no uh, shell? No. Here, you're going to want to wash. Yeah, I'm going to hold the camera. <laughs> Why don't you do that and we'll come back. I can't press the stop button. <laughs> We're cleaned up. Okay, so I'm just whisking the eggs around on the side here. Because it said lightly, right? It said lightly. That works. All right. So there's that. Four eggs. Two and a half pounds ground beef. Um, then we will add milk. It says. Let's see here. That can't be Which right. we may or may not have. That can't, It says, and mix, beat the eggs slightly, mix with milk, onions, and breadcrumbs. Add the salt and the spices and the beef, and then knead it until mixed. So we'll add the stuff in here. Um, we're going to add, I, the onions cooked just feels so weird to me, but that's what it says. So we're going to drop the onions in here, knead all the meat up, and we'll go from there. So we added our two cups milk to this mixture and just kind of stirred it up because we've got our beef in there already. Then we're going to add our seasonings. So a quarter cup each of nutmeg, allspice, and cardamom. Last time we didn't have cardamom. A quarter cup? Sorry, teaspoon. Holy moly. <laughs> I've noticed I've done that in a couple where I say the wrong thing. A quarter teaspoon. So here's our one quarter teaspoon. And uh, I finally went and got cardamom because this is the second time we've needed it. And Smells haven't... wonderful. It so does. It's fantastic. I'm adding what does it smell like to you? Well, I thought lemony or... It's a little citrusy, but also maybe like a nutmeggy. It's a, it's, a, oh, it's so good. So we've got the cardamom, we've got nutmeg. 
And we didn't have allspice, so we uh, made our own. Which is? Cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. And we already measured that out, so there's that. All right, so we've got our spice. Oh, we need salt. Calls for three teaspoons salt. And I just wanted to say, the last recipe that we did, the uh, Carmelitas. They're gone. Oh, and I wish we had halved it because I ate most of them. And once they were cooled, they were even better. Oh my goodness. One. Do you know that one is the loneliest number? Two. Oh, jeez. Two can be as bad as one. Okay. <laughs> it's the loneliest number. Oh, jeez. Since, since, oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is why I stopped cooking in the house until we started doing this cookbook challenge thing because it was never clean enough. <laughs> All right, so we've got everything in there, except for now we need to add our cup of breadcrumbs. We're gonna mix this all up. You always have to do this kind of thing with your hands, right? We're so, gonna save you that, right? Yeah, so there's that. Are you gonna do it? I'll do it, but I can save you videoing it if that's okay. what you want. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Is it going? It's going. Look okay. The clock down there. Oh, there we go. So here we are. We've got our meatballs. They, um, we had to add the onion to it. Then we put them in the freezer, not the freezer, the refrigerator for an oh, hour. Tell them the truth. Uh, we put them in the freezer because we didn't want to wait that long. But you're supposed to put them in the refrigerator. Because they're pretty moist. Yeah. And if you try to make them, you'll just be, they'll just be flat burgers little pancakes <laughs> yeah. swedish pancakes which These is a like thing inch, don't they? so yeah so here's the meatballs and so what we do is we just sort of um brown them in butter it's a meat able skeever we're gonna just <laughs> stop it's just enough to hold them in shape then they're gonna bake for what 30 40 minutes yeah so we're gonna brown them in this butter um and then once they're browned all the way around we put them in a casserole and then we make the sauce, we pour the sauce all over the meatballs, and then we're gonna put them in the oven. So. Yeah. Don't answer the phone or do anything if you're alone. <laughs> because your hands are filthy. <laughs> Have somebody else get the warm water running with soap. Oh, look, get that, get that. Look okay, how nice those okay. are. Look how They're eyeball, beautiful. how beautiful. If there's one thing I know, it's one inch round meatballs, look at that. Mmm, lamb fries. <laughs> Has anybody... That's another video. <laughs> Have you guys seen um, Funny Farm where he eats, he thinks he's eating all of these like meatballs, but they're, they're sheep balls. Lamb fries. It's pretty funny actually. Um, are we allowed to talk at all about what you're going through right now or no? What's that? Your treatment. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> Because we're doing meatballs or what? That's know. not why I thought of it. Oh yeah, if I look a little under, I'm just a little, uh, bit a little treatment little, to take about 38 days. A little of radiation, every day. radiation therapy. Because we're doing a a sequel to the hideous sun demon. Oh my gosh! That my stepdad did in the 50s. Go look that up sometime. I've I've talked about the hideous sun demon and I've shown my beautiful T-shirt. So I showed the doctor right before he started. I said, I know what radiation could do. Look what it did to my dad. He didn't have the greatest sense of humor. He didn't get it. It wasn't funny to him. Well, I thought it was hysterical. It is hysterical. And I'm the one laying there, you know? Anyway, look at this. We're going to have to start training them. Because like I said, the main cooking is in the chafing dish or in the whatever you call it. The casserole. Casserole dish. And this is just to brown it. So I'm going to just... Get this one batch in, and then I'm gonna, as soon as I don't have room, I'm gonna just start turning them. The other thing is browning something like this, they shouldn't be overloaded and touching, or you won't get the brown that the recipe calls for, which means I'm one too many right now. Okay. So we'll stop. Here we are, browning the meatballs. Like I said, I think this is primarily well, 
just to keep them to hold them together. To get them to keep a shape. Yeah. We were a little surprised as we were making them. We were like, wow, this is not a stiff mixture at all. This yeah, is... you wouldn't have thought you could make a meatball, so it does need to go into the fridge. Or once again, we did something really wrong. <laughs> not, not that we've ever done that. Right? <laughs> What's funny is, What's funny is the the whole house, the whole family really are known for being pretty good cooks. It's just comical that we seem to always well, screw it up. Well, we're rather blasé about it. Rather blasé. Also, the we, last time I was distracted because there were people here watching. What do you think? It looks good. Now what do you think? <laughs> now we can see them. Well, we just... So we've got a bunch of our meatballs in our casserole here. We're still working on the rest of them. Ahoy. Ahoy. That's another. <laughs> I um, was nominated on Facebook to do one of those things where uh, you have to tell, you know, 10 movies that have impacted you in one way or another. Um, but you don't really say anything about it. You just say the 10 movies. And the first one I did, which is hilarious, is What About Bob? Which we quote all the time. We shout ahoy at each other. I'm sailing. I'm sailing. The boat's doing most of the work. Yeah. I mean, there were, you know, serious ones. I had Jeremiah Johnson on there and Hoosiers and... To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird was my favorite book in high school. By the so way, if you're listening quietly... It's on in the background. <laughs> All right, so we've got all of our meatballs here. Now we've um, kept a quarter cup of the drippings in the pan and got rid of everything else. Now we're going to add the soup and the bouillon. Do you want to throw those in there? Are these just going in there? Yep. Two cans cream of mushroom soup for the sauce. Ooh. Oh, is that still from before? It's, it's hot from before. Like that. Here, all my... Not me. Oh, fried soup. That's even going to be better than what else We'll pour the second can in and then two cans of beef broth. Well, we're not going to do this because I have to... Open this with a. Oh, okay, I can do this one now for you. Pausing. So we've got both of our soups in there. Well, our beef bouillon. And the cream of mushroom. And the cream of mushroom. Then we fold in two cups sour cream. And once again, another King family recipe with low cows. <laughs> Holy moly. Ah. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to fold this in and then we're going to pour it over our meatballs in our casserole and then put it in the oven at 350 for, was it 35 to 40? The cookbook's behind me. I've sashayed and I've, the but I've never folded. For 30 to 40 minutes. Ooh, it's thickening up really nice. Mm. And this this could be the basis pasta. of what? Another wonderful dish we did the other day, but I, we didn't film it, did we? A Russian dish, what is it? Um, Stroganoff, we did film it. Okay. I don't think they need to watch me stir this anymore. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Is my big fat thumb in the way? We're pouring our mixture over our meatballs. Oh. It's a lot of mixture. It's going to be so good. Get some, Over needle, get some English muffins, noodles, <laughs> bagels, anything to dip it in later. Ooh, yummy. Well, I'm making a mess, but okay. All right, into the oven we go. I want to. There you go. Don't burn yourself, Joanne. Oh, it's really heavy. It's really full. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just decided. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. You want a facial? Put your face over it. 
It's the Little Brea Tar Pits. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It does kind of look like the Little Brea Tar Pits. You want to get the noodles over here? Uh oh. They're fine. Here we go. Oh, you're going to do that? Well, I want you to sit here with the camera staring at noodles. I mean, it. You want to grab the well, we asked them if they could smell the other stuff. Now we're going to say, can you feel the steam? Can you? I'm getting a pasta facial. Woo! That's hot. You're going to go back into that, right? Mm-hmm. Because we don't have another bowl out. Wow. Looks beautiful. Great. Hot town, summer in the city, back of my neck getting gritty and gritty. Cool down, isn't it a pity? Booty 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 booty. Alright, here we go. So there's that. We don't know what we do now. We put some pasta in a bowl and then we're just gonna scoop some meatballs and sauce out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a pause. Yum. Who's ready for dinner? How much pasta do you want? Pasta? I don't know. Give it to somebody else first. Okay. Ooh. Mm, this looks really good. I like that there's no butter floating on top. <laughs> you know, it's the low calorie version. How many? I'm burning my finger as we speak. You can't have two. It's like no, planting. It's meatballs. like planting trees. Or something. Drips, yeah, lose a little bit of the sauce. Oh, I don't think so. Not for all the okay. new. There you go. And what do you want to say? Well, I'm going to have to taste it so I can let them know. Okay, we'll be right back. Oh, we're going to taste it? Yes. Okay. It's really good. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. It Stroga like noodles? Swedish meatball. Yeah, yeah. There's a, you can definitely taste the, the nutmeg and the cardamom. Um, it's really moist. The meatballs are really moist and the sauce is to die for. So Swedish meatballs from the kitchen of Cheryl Driggs. I'm thumbs up, man. I said, you want to taste it? Sure. Here. Sorry, dude. You're going to have to do it. Tell us what you think. That is good. It's good. It's good. Try it. Have a good day.